We feel that with our unique designs that we can actually change how the world sleeps and revolutionize the bedding industry and bring it into the 21st century. There hasn't been a significant change in bedding in 67 years. Hi, this is Ted Kelly with another Ted's Hospitality Minute. Hey, today we've got a great guest on. Her name is Ruby Russell. She's an inventor. She's an entrepreneur. She is the founder of Befitted Bedding. She's going to come on and talk a little bit about her story, her products, and all the ways that she's making in the industry. Hi, Ruby. How are you? I'm great, Ted. Thank you so much for the invite. Well, thank you for giving us a little bit of uh, your time. I know you're a busy lady. And uh, we recognize that uh, the importance of your time and trying to be useful with it and uh, not waste it. And we know you got lots of good stuff going on. So we're anxious to hear your story. But before we go there, tell our viewers a little bit about you, your background, where you're from, kind of how did you get into this, this uh, betting industry, that kind of stuff? Well, I started in Magnolia, Mississippi. <laughs> I moved to California and I lived there for 38 years. And I, after 38 years, I moved to Las Vegas, kind of um, made some real life changes. The night Princess Diana died, I decided to leave home. I actually walked away from a marriage of 32 years because I wanted to be happy. And like I said, it was the night that Princess Diana died that made the decision for me to move on. And so I came here. I've been living in Nevada now for 25 years and it's all been great. Really? Yes, definitely. The, the rest is history, huh? The rest is history. <laughs> Talk a little bit about how you got into the bedding industry. What, what, what roads did you take to get there? Well, it actually started with the need. My partner was building a deck for his daughter and he was walking down off the ladder when he fell flat on his back. And after that, he was unable to make his bed. And I hate making a bed with a passion. So it was a problem I needed to solve. <laughs> so he, we were living, we lived separately for the past 15 years. We're living together now. But when he left to go home one day, I was thinking about how much I hated to make the bed and, and I could no longer leave it to him feeling guilty. So I invented a sheet. I took extra fabric and I put it on a normal sheet and it made like a tail. So we tested it for three years. He was never able to untuck it. So one day he said, let's put it into production. And that's what we did. That was the start of RR Distinctive Beddings. The name of that sheet, the brand is Stay Put. And it's going to stay put no matter how much you toss and turn. Months later, I had eye surgery that left me blind in my left eye. It was such a frightening experience. I went on to think, what if I really did become blind? I'd already invented the fitted sheet. So then I started researching the challenges that the blind had in making a bed. And I invented Befitted Betty. Befitted is an easy to make reversible duvet cover. Instead of stuffing it, you just simply unzip it. You lay the duvet in, you zip it back up, and it has that trademark stay put tail, so the duvet cover is not going to move until you're ready to do laundry. But researching more, I have literally changed everything on the bed, every item. The fitted sheet, I'm never going to come up with a way to fold it that's easy. But I did make it so that you don't get the long and the short wrong. I took the label, I made it a little bit larger than normal, and I put it in the center of the foot of the bed, of the foot of the fitted sheet. So you know exactly which end is up and you won't get those corners wrong again. And so still thinking of the blind, I invented what we call a coverlet, which would be the normal bedspread. It fits like a glove around the mattress. So everything that I have invented actually stays put while you sleep. So when you get up in the morning, you just pull it up and you're gone. <laughs> what an interesting story. I would have never, never, never guessed that that was how you got to the bedding and the sheet industry and how you got to your product. But it's a very interesting tale. And 
And I'm sure even with what sounds like a beautiful product, a beautiful thought on how you got there, what, what were some of the challenges that you ran into trying to get your product to production or to the right people or in the right hands? What, what were some of the challenges you ran into? We're still having those challenges. <laughs> you know, it's, it's an industry that you just don't walk into. It requires a lot of capital which right now we've been bootstrapping it for the last several years. And actually to textile companies want you to buy a minimum of anywhere from three to 5,000 yards. So that's been one of the challenges that we have. And getting funding. We haven't been able to get funding. So like I said, we have been bootstrapping it. We've put over $400,000 into the company, but now just to manufacture a complete lot we do need financing. But the exciting news now is that we're talking to uh, the Economic Development Department in Reno, which we hope will help us out. We would really like to manufacture our products right here. Yeah, I would think that would be a great, uh, a great, a great story in itself, right? Because you know how everyone's wanting us to produce more and more in the USA, if you could figure out a way to, with the economic backing, of course, set up a facility where you could manufacture your own product uh, right there in the state of Nevada and employ people and, you know, be a contributor to the economic base there, I would think that would be a great story for them. We're hoping, you know, Carolina, the North and South Carolina are the textile industries of the U.S., we int- I want to change that, Ted. You'll have to move to Reno to be in the textile industry because we feel, <laughs> uh, we feel that with our unique designs that we can actually change how the world sleeps and revolutionize the bedding industry and bring it into the 21st century. There hasn't been a significant change in bedding in 67 years. On February 13th of 2024, this year, it will be 67 years since the fitted sheet was invented. And I'm proud to say that it was an inv- it was invented by an African-American woman. So in a package of my bedding, you've got two black women with an invention in one package. And we're actually talking to, we're corresponding with the African-American Museum in Washington, D.C. to get our first lot of bedding in there. We have three, 250 um, bedding sets left of the original design. And the original design was done by my partner, Louis, which you met. It turned out that we made the perfect couple because I'm this person with thoughts all in my head all the time. So I'm always coming up with ideas. For me, Louis was a civil engineer and he's able to put everything on paper. So we have sizes all the way from split pink, split king, all the way down to a doll bed. We've been working on this for nine years, so it's just given me nothing but time to think. Well, yes, definitely. And you were asking me about some of the challenges. Well, the first big one was the day we launched our website. It was March 10th. 2020. It was my mother's birthday, which was a special occasion for us. But due to COVID, it was also the day that the world shut down. The stock market went down almost 3,000 points that day. So we took a back step. I told Louie that maybe God is telling us to take a pause, and we did. So we've come up with a new website, but we were still looking for investors. So remember March 10th? Well, March 13th of 2023, I was at the London Stock Exchange to meet with investors. We were dead center when Silicon Valley crashed and the investors didn't show up. They had to substitute speaker. So it's been an interesting few years. But Rome wasn't built in a day and I'm not a person to give up. Wow, that is awesome. Ruby, this is this is wonderful because a lot of folks think that the road to success in entrepreneurship and business ownership is just like, oh man, that looks great. I'm sure how, that was so easy to do, right? But everything you just said 
describes the path that entrepreneurs and, and business owners go through to get their products or their services to a place where it's acting successful. But then you have a lot of folks that's outside looking in and they're just thinking, oh, it's all glamorous. You know, it's just, it's just wonderful. It's like, no, there's a, there's a lot of blood, sweat and tears and, you know, restarts and stops and all that good stuff that, that goes into that product. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yes. And see the name behind me, Befitted? Befitted was designed because the woman that invented the fitted sheet, her name was Bertha Berman. So we're celebrating her and we're letting the world know who she is. No one knows who she is. I had to, when I did research, I even went to the local library to see if I could get some information on her. We were only able to find a couple of paragraphs. She invented the fitted sheet in 1957. But in 1937, she invented the toothbrush holder. Really? So imagine items that have touched more bodies than any item ever made. The toothbrush holder and the fitted sheet. And no one knows who the inventor was. Wow. That is awesome. Hey, let me take a moment to uh, take a word from my sponsor. And we're going to come right back and pick this up. Hey, this, this episode of Ted's Hospitality Minute is being sponsored by Recovery. If you've experienced a home fire, tornado, or other natural disaster, you know how easy it is to lose everything overnight. Well, Recover It is a new app that allows you to record everything in your home, store it in the clouds for easy retrieval should disaster strike, versus you trying to remember or recall all of your household valuables, your jewelry, your heirlooms, etc., to settle your claims with your insurance company. You get your claims process faster, your claim process moving faster, and you also do it with less stress and you're on to resolution. Check out the Recover It today, the Recover It app. The promo code on the screen gets you 50% off. And as always, we ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us here on LinkedIn, and this episode with Ruby and myself will be on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, and we always, always, always Appreciate your thoughts and feedback. All right. Now, so Ruby, let me go back to your story. So we've got all of the challenges, all of the the hurdles that you've had to overcome, right? When when did you get to that, that aha moment? Describe that aha moment for me. I think that aha moment has been with me all the time that I am just going to finish this. I have been offered millions of dollars to buy the company, but I won't sell because it's, remember Bertha Berman? No one knows who she is. I'm not going to go quietly. I'm going to let the world know who she is. And they're going to know Ruby Russell too, because you said that, that the name is Befitted Bedding. Actually, Befitted is just one of our brands. We have Stay Put, which is the sheet, and Befitted. Stay Put is going to be our less expensive, uh, more affordable brand that we wish to take into the hospitality because we can actually show the hospitality industry how we can save them anywhere from 40 to 60% of the time in making a bed. I'm not sure if you're one of those, but if I stay in a hotel, the first thing I want to do every night is untuck that foot. And in my research, 59% of the people that stay in a hotel untuck that bed. So if I stay in a motel five nights, that means that that maid is going to have to lift that mattress and do a hospital corner, which is a seven step process every night where mine, you just do one tuck and it stays. And nobody is going to untuck that because you have plenty of room for your feet to move around. So it's going to be a win-win for the hospitality, hospital and assistant living industry also. Right. Yeah. Wow. Now, and are you having... Are you having reasonable success getting to the right folks in the hospitality space to have them take a look at your product uh, to give it due consideration or how's that going? Well, you know, like I said, we've just restarted. We had to restart 
and I have a new assistant and she just moved here from Canada. She's working with me. So we're really ready for 2024 to blossom out. On January 24th, we're doing a LinkedIn live uh, event on telling everyone about Befitted and when we're coming out with it. And actually, we're going to be coming out with Befitted on February the 24th, 2024. So 22424. And the reason is, is because it's Black History Month, it's Valentine's, and on the 13th of February, it's 67 years since the invention of the fitted sheet. So we're celebrating it all. Lots of stuff in February. Oh, yes, definitely. That's awesome. But I'm not crying over spilt milk. It's been rough. You know, we've had to bootstrap it. But anything that's worthwhile, it's not easy. And if you're talking about some of the challenges that we've had, I'm going to write a book when this, when I get this settled. And I've been telling everybody I've got a chapter five. And chapter five is going to tell a lot. They're not good stories. Wow. That is awesome. Let me ask you this question. When you're talking about the the time that it saves the hotel staff or the, you know, guys that's coming in and changing the beds. Is it, is it what, is it like 20 minutes a, a room, 30 minutes a room that you're saving the operations team on average that they don't have to mess with the bed so much? Is there, is there a... Oh yeah, we can, we know that we can definitely save them 20, 20 minutes per bed or per room. I'm sorry. Yeah. Which is a lot when you think about that every day. Exactly. It really is. And the hospitality industry, it's just, you know, and it needs to be a change. I mean, like I said, there hasn't been a change. It's, um, uh, it's time for a change. Our bedding is so simple that it's been accredited by the American Council of the Blind as accessible. Wow. Okay. So you've got the ratings and everything to go with the product. Yes. And not only that, you know, we have our patented designs and we're, we're, we would be okay with licensing our designs to the hospitality or the hospital industry, or they could sell them in their boot. They can sell any of our products in their boutiques, which could bring in revenue for them. A new customer experience for the hospitality industry. <laughs> well, I think you win when you'd say you can save us 20 minutes, 20 minutes a room. Uh, that's an automatic win because I know how, how efficiency conscious the hotel GMs and the operation staffs are when it comes to, you know, turning a room over so that they can get it ready for the next guest to come in. And, you know, you say 20 minutes per room. I, I think that's a phenomenal, phenomenal number that uh, hotel uh, owners or GMs or, you know, operations teams would be looking at like, hey, we need to try this product because if we can do more with less, then we're saving and we're getting stuff done. And, you know, that's another uh, that's another improvement to the bottom line for them. Especially right now when unemployment is so low. So you, you have gotten some awards as well, right? In in uh, the past year or so? I did. I actually, it's called the CREA Global Award. In 2021, I received that award. And I'm on the same list with Elon and Oprah. Mine is for innovation. Wow. I'm bound down over here. You know? I haven't been playing around, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is. That I am is determined. That yes, is you know, I'm kind of, I'm following in the footsteps of my parents. My parents were entrepreneurs, so yeah. I've got the bug, and my partner has the bug because he was an entrepreneur before I met him. Yeah, so we make a really good team. Yeah, and you're persevering. So, first thing, you know, if you can persevere, you're going to be successful. That's my number one word: perseverance. So, so you're going to you're going to do great things in the future for sure. That's the plan. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I'm going to be watching on the sidelines and doing rah, rah, rah for you and Louie, uh, making sure that, you know, you at least have one voice in the crowd that's cheering for you. OK, <laughs> totally appreciate it. 
Bootstrapping to Billions. That's what my book is going to be titled. Awesome. It's a $147 billion a year industry, so. Oh, nice. Yeah, so there's the possibilities. Yeah, we carve out our little small piece of that pie. It's a nice, it's a nice number. I want to change the whole pie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ted, it's about time yeah. that there is a change, you know? 21st wow. century. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that, that's a... Uh, that's impressive. It, and the the interesting thing is I could sit here and probably talk to you all day listening about your story and the stuff that you're wanting to do uh, this year and next uh, coming up, you know? Well, we're also bringing on other brands. You met Francine. She is, you know, my bedding, the design was designed by the woman who redesigned the house. Well, she did the interior design of the home that Alicia Keys bought several years ago for 23 million. She's my designer, but we're also bringing in other designers because we're going to be a full fledged company. Our, our distinctive beddings is the name of the company. Befit it, stay put. Now we've got Cameroon bedding, which is going to be our African influence. And then we have a gentleman that's, um, He's an artist. He sold several paintings to the Carter Center, and he's going to also be one of our designers. And we're going to be bringing in different designers. We're going to be the Wayfair of betting. <laughs> it's, it sounds like it. And I love the idea about bringing on the different designers so that you get a different theme, you know, because that, that's a very personable touch. And, you know, the hospitality industry is so it's, it's so touchy feely, you know, when it comes to the ambiance that people feel when they go to a place. So I think that's a beautiful, uh, a beautiful ad to have that theme kind of bedding to go with the, the environment that you may be placing it in. That's awesome. Yeah, we want to change how the world sleeps. <laughs> it sounds like you're going to do it, Ruby. And I'm a, and I'm going to be watching. Hey, uh, hey, I thank you for your time today. Is there anything else that you want to remind our viewers of? that's coming up that we haven't already touched on? Well, please visit our website at befittedbedding.com. If you leave your email address, we'll send you updates. We're going to have a live uh, interview on LinkedIn on the 24th of January. And any of the hospitality industry that wants to really come and see what we're, co we're into, come to Reno on 22424. Because we're going to have a big party. That's awesome. I'm going to see if I can't make it out there. <laughs> <laughs> we would love to have you. Thank you so much. Hey, viewers, this has been another Ted's Hospitality Minute. As always, we ask you to follow us here on LinkedIn, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and this episode with Ruby will be broadcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And as always, we appreciate your thoughts and your feedback. This is Ted Kelly with another Ted's Hospitality Minute. We will see you next time. You guys have a great day. Ted's Hospitality Minute is sponsored by Recover It. Don't wait for disaster to happen to wish you had done this.